Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle and I am so excited you all are here today. On my weight loss journey, it was super important for me to find different recipes that I was eating before and just make it healthier and lower calorie. I absolutely love the Panay Rosa from Noodles and & Company and so I've made a copycat recipe of that and I am in love with it. If you guys like Panay Rosa from Noodles & Company, you are going to love this recipe. So I'm going to start by cutting up some onions. My onions are a little bit smaller so I'm going to do two of these smaller ones. I would say one big one is fine. And then we're going to do a handful of mushrooms. We're going to do two, four, six, eight. Let's do 10 mushrooms and then we'll do some, we'll add some spinach in a little bit later. So I'm going to cut these up and then I'll show you what we do next. And then we're gonna add them to a pan. And so I'm gonna take my avocado spray. You can use Pam spray. You can use whatever kind of spray you have. You can also do oil. You just have to add the points in for that. So I'm gonna spray generously. And then we're gonna saute the onions and the mushrooms. So we'll cook them until they get soft. And then while that is cooking, I'm going to boil some water to cook my pasta. My favorite pasta is this bonza pasta. It's a chickpea pasta and it is so yummy. I absolutely love it. I would say it's best the day of, otherwise just saturate it in a dressing and it'll be really good reheated, but it does dry out pretty easily. So you want to make sure it's either covered in sauce or you eat it all, either way. It's high in protein. So one serving is two ounces of this dried, which when I weighed it just now so i could show you guys it's almost a full cup it'll be about a full cup once it's weighed but you can see if you want one serving i would do just a little bit less than one cup if you don't have a scale otherwise it's two ounces for four points 11 grams of protein which is awesome 190 calories and definitely recommend you can just go through and scan different pasta options but this is one that i would recommend and then we're just going to stir this occasionally until they are soft. You can see they're cooking really nice. We'll do a couple more minutes. It's been about seven minutes now and you can see they're starting to get soft. I'd say probably about 10 minutes and you'd be good. So we'll let it cook for a couple more minutes. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic. I just have this dried minced garlic, so that's what I'm going to use, but you can use fresh garlic as well. I normally would add red flakes, red pepper flakes. Um, so if you, if you do like things spicy, go ahead and add that as well. I'm just going to add it into my individual serving because my kids don't like the heat, and so I'm going to leave that out for now. So I'm going to cook it just for a couple minutes with that garlic in. And then we're going to add some spinach. And then I'm going to add some spinach. So I'm going to add about two cups. This shrinks down quite a bit. So I'll add two cups of that and then you just want to stir it. And then this part will cook very quickly. So just once the spinach leaves gets, get to be a little bit wilty, we'll add in our sauce. And you can see the water just takes a while to boil, so it's good to get that going sooner than later. I just wanted to show you how quickly those spinach leaves turn, so definitely not something you need to leave. Okay, now that those are looking wilty, we'll add our spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce varies a lot on point, so you definitely want to scan them to make sure, but this particular spaghetti sauce is two points for half a cup. And then I always just shake out my can and add a little bit of water just to get all the spaghetti sauce out. 
And then I'm also going to add one cup of this 0% fat Yolk Creek yogurt. It adds extra protein and just makes it a little bit creamier. So I'll add that in now too. And this is when I would add those red pepper flakes. But to keep this kid friendly, I'm just going to leave it out. And I'll just do it on my servings. So then we'll stir that up. And we'll just let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we'll add our pasta to our boiling water. And let that cook. Once your pasta is cooked, you want to strain it, which I already did. And then our sauce has been cooking and it is ready to go. So I'm just going to add it to a plate and show you how it looks. And then I'm going to take one cup of my bonza pasta. So I have two of the, this is a half a cup. So I'm going to do two of these and then half a cup of my sauce. And we have a super yummy pasta all for six points. Look at that yumminess for six points. And then again, you want to just cover your noodles. If you're using bonza pasta, you want to cover your noodles with sauce. And then I'll just keep the extra sauce in a different container. You can even freeze it and it lasts for a couple of months, which is super nice. As far as sides to make this dish go even farther, I'll make some garlic bread with some light bread, toast it in the toaster, spray with some spray butter, which I'll show you what that is, which is this. I just spray with this after my bread is toasted. Add some garlic salt on it and it is so good. A little bit of a side salad with some Olive Garden light dressing also makes this go even farther just because you have more volume. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have. It is so yummy and I highly suggest making it. If you liked this video, please subscribe down below and let me know if there's a pasta dish that you want me to try to find a lighter version of. I love trying new recipes and would love to be able to help you on your health journey. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.